Ladies and gentlemen, Scuba World Television Series, at the invitation of Lahaina Divers, is proud to invite you to enjoy the sights, the sounds, and the Hawaiian blue waters of Maui. Occasionally we've seen uh, spotted eagle rays and on one or two rare occasions whale sharks out here. Like I said, that's not a common occurrence out here. It's very unlikely you'll see them, but keep your eyes peeled out there because that is a real strong drop off. Television series is dedicated to the international sport and science of skin and scuba diving. Each week we take you to a new and exciting diving destination. So whether you're an experienced diver or an armchair adventurer, come with us now to the depths of this adventure. Maui, the Pacific gem of our 50th state of Hawaii, is blessed with blue skies, blue water, and skyscapes that stretch the imagination. In 1778, Captain James Cook became the very first tourist. Much of Herman Melville's Moby Dick is based on the adventures of early Maui pioneers. Your Scuba World crew is on its way to Lahaina, where we will board the Reliant. This 710 horsepower vessel, operated by Lahaina divers, scurries divers to such world famous dive sites as Molokini Crater, the cathedrals, and many others. Stay tuned while we take you on a Hawaiian adventure. Enough of this frivolity, let's go diving. We're squared away at the beautiful Maui Islander Hotel, so the next step on our agenda is to check aboard the Reliant Destination Lanai. Lanai is the sister island of Maui. According to the dive site for the day, the boat rides are between 40 minutes and an hour and 20 minutes. We should mention here that it's rare to miss a day of diving with Lahaina divers. You have a wide choice of dive sites, each punctuated by an island, therefore, no matter the wind direction, you have several dive sites from which to select. As we approach the cathedrals, here's some information from our dive master for this journey, Kelly Brown. Other things to see at this dive site, there's one small black coral bush that's real pretty and great for photographs out on the outer wall. We'll point that out to you. Also, there's a lot of soft sponge coral, so yellow corals on the overheads. So just don't swim through the cathedral. Stop. Get back with your light and all the nooks and crannies and really enjoy the inside part. A lot of people just swim right through and never see the beauty of what's inside there. Okay, on air consumption, when you get down to about 1,500 pounds, just with your buddy, it's a good time to start finding where the anchor of the boat is. Uh, swim on around at 1,000 pounds. Hawaiian diving offers plenty of brightly colored fish. We won't dwell on them in this chapter of Hawaiian diving, though. This will be your introduction to Hawaiian diving and the fascinating differences that exist between Hawaii, the Caribbean, and other points in the Pacific. Fish, such as this raccoon butterfly, will be the subjects of upcoming Scuba World productions. For the time being, let's examine the major differences of Hawaiian diving. Our 50th state is volcanic in origin and geologically youthful. 
This is not to say that the dieting is uninteresting. It's simply different. For those of you who dive the Caribbean, subtract a few millennium from the environment and you have a view of St. Lucia or Jamaica in their formative years. This is one of the privileges of diving Maui. The most marked difference is volcanic structure intact. There is some soft coral, some sponge and sea fans, but only rarely. While the volcanic floor of the ocean is unremarkable, the inner sanctum of the volcanic caverns and cathedrals awaken the realization that you are diving in another dimension. Because the volcanic floor is honeycombed with tiny caves and crevices, it makes a perfect shelter for such critters as moray eels. It's probably even more suitable than more typical coral. Cavern openings around the cathedral dive are easily accessible and present no problem for sport divers. Once you're inside, the feeling is that you're on a Hollywood set or perhaps having a religious experience. The lacy bric-a-brac openings in your imagination become stained glass windows. Light shafts penetrating into the room are so intense that they take on a three-dimensional quality. But for now, let's exit the cathedral and visit the critters that call this dive site their home. Lahaina divers provide several highly qualified diving instructors. And on this particular junket, we were fortunate enough to dive with Peter Hilly. Peter has an unusual knack for getting along with critters. While we may be harassing this little fellow a bit more than you should, it's to make a point. Virtually every animal in the undersea kingdom has a unique protective device. In the case of an octopus, there are two. Inking, which you saw demonstrated earlier, and camouflage. Now some people suggest that there are three because some divers have been beaked by upset octopus. Or is it octopi? Well, nonetheless, in a moment, you'll see the little fellow demonstrate his camouflage talent by changing colors. While making plans to dive Maui, Blaine Roberts, the owner of Lahaina Divers, pointed out some interesting facts. Maui is actually semi-tropical, therefore the ocean temperatures stay in the mid-70s. We suggest at least a three millimeter wetsuit. If you don't have one, Lahaina Divers can provide you with a wetsuit or any other gear that you might have chosen to leave at home. This is just part of Blaine's effort to add an extra measure of service. Kelly Brown, our dive master, is signaling us back to the boat. Reluctantly, we have to return. After this break, we'll take you on diving excursions to Molokini Crater and a nighttime critter dive. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. We're ready to make our second dive now at Molokini Crater. What we have over here along the wall is it drops down to about 20 to 25 feet along the ledge and then kind of rambles on out to about 40 to 45 feet and then drops down on a sheer cliff down to about 90 feet in a flat sand bottom. And we want to be sure to keep your maximum depth on this dive at no more than 40 feet. The reason for that is from your first dive, 
If you go beyond 40 feet, your maximum bottom time will be 34 minutes. Mastering the Molokini dive are Sue Thompson and John Goodlander. Also on board is Kelly Brown. We'll have a special announcement about Kelly later in the show. Sue is a very experienced dive master. She carries credentials from Atlantic, Caribbean, and Pacific dive destinations. She's in charge of overall operations during this dive, while Kelly has promised something special for the Scuba World cameras. A note of interest here, it's quite gratifying to see so many families participating in our great sport. We had five couples, as well as a father and son team from the mainland. If you're new to the sport and you're interested in becoming a diver, write or call us at Scuba World. We'll provide you with complete details. That something special we promised about Kelly Brown is that he has been awarded the Silver Dive Master of the Year Award by Scuba World Television Series. This is the highest honor bestowed on non-management diving personnel. Among the prerequisites for this award is a list of 10 standards that must be met, including a minimum of five dives. Locating this white-tipped shark is a prime example of why Kelly is your Silver Award Dive Master of 1984. True to his prediction, Kelly put us on this beautiful white tip in his own habitat. While these fellows have tremendous power in their jaws, they are timid and calm, unless disturbed by clumsy or thoughtless divers. In this case, your producer, Perry Tong, was the oaf that spooked this shark from his hiding place and caused Jim Foster, Scuba World's underwater videographer, to go into a five kick per second swimming cycle to bring you this additional footage. In the Caribbean, we consider the green moray as the king of the eel family. However, the spotted eels around Maui are at least equal in size to those that we've discovered in such places as Cayman and Cozumel. Because of constant attention from divers, most are friendly, but exercise caution. Margot Nelson has found this fellow gentle, but keep in mind that she's had years of underwater experience with his cousins. In his embarrassment over having blown the shark shot, our producer, Perry Tong, has decided to give something away. This fish is considered a delicacy in the islands. He has a family resemblance to a horse-side jack. Tell us what he is, and you'll win a beautiful Casio dive watch. First postmark wins. Second prize, Perry's Scuba World t-shirt. You can thank Jim for this great shot of pencil slate urchins. Of course, you don't have to sneak up on these. Here's a curious-looking pink-tailed durgeon and a psychedelic wrasse. A few of our diving friends will continue to explore the crater's outer perimeter. Soon, we'll have to return to the Reliant and take a heading back to Lahaina. We have a night dive planned, and we're leaving ourselves with plenty of surface interval. While we have a moment, let's mention how you can get in touch with Lahaina Divers. Of course, you can call us here at Scuba World at area code 817-831-0559. If you'd prefer to call Lahaina Divers direct, you can reach them at area code 808-667-7496. Marvin Wolpa is the manager. Blaine Roberts or Clyde Birch will be happy to help you with travel information as well. The number again, if you don't have your VCR running, is 808 667 7496. The run into Lahaina from Molokini offers some fascinating opportunities for shutterbugs. Those green fields down by the water are pineapple and sugarcane. The mountains seem to hold the clouds, while the sky above the ocean is crystal clear. What now seems to be a quaint fishing harbor was, just a century ago, the world's largest whaling harbor. We know the ocean is fascinating, but don't miss the opportunity to stroll through old Lahaina town and take in some of the topside nostalgia. This grizzly-looking character is a devil scorpion fish. His muddy color sets him apart from his close cousin, the Titan, who is red in color. Being escorted by a Moorish idol is a zebra moray eel. This fellow is a first for scuba world. That's some of the nighttime critter action we promised you. You can leave it up to Kelly Brown and Jimmy Roach to put you on that dive site. 
we'll say that it's only about 15 minutes from the dock in old Lahaina town. This footage was taken around an actual active dock. You'll encounter most species of Hawaiian fish. The small black fish with a white dot is a Hawaiian dacillus. And on the right is a millet seed butterfly. This armored car looking thing on center screen is called the slipper lobster. Now you'll notice he doesn't have the temperament or the claws of his cousins. Nothing much really excites him. I guess if I were that ugly and useless, I wouldn't get excited about anything either. Slipper lobsters, incidentally, are more common in Hawaiian waters than in the Caribbean. Their smaller cousins, though, have been spotted around the Caribbean waters. But never before have we encountered, honest to gosh, a sleeping turtle. At first, it appeared to be dead. But lo and behold, although slow in awakening, this fellow turned out to be full of vim, vigor, and vitality. While Jimmy explores a hollow buttress, Jim Foster, our videographer, spotted a sea cucumber. These things are interesting only in the respect that we've never seen one quite like this one before. Well, it's time to surface from our night dive and give you some of the more exciting aspects of Maui. There are three things you want to do when you travel to Maui. First of all, contact the Maui Islander Hotel, and their number is area code 808-667-9766. Now, of course, you already have Blaine's number at Lahaina Divers. And last but not least, schedule yourself a helicopter tour with South Sea Helicopters. By air, the inactive crater of Haleakala is only a few short minutes away. Although dormant, this cloud-shrouded phenomenon at 11,000 feet in the air is still sensational. Maui's dazzling shoreline is even more beautiful as our chopper breaks across the mountain divide, and rainbows are an ever-present fact of life. If you look closely, you'll see that this is a double rainbow, the second section's on the right. The highlands receive 400 inches of rain per year, and the White Ribbon waterfalls dump millions of gallons per day. The coastline puts on a pretense of hostility, and yet her breakers roll soothingly into quiet lagoons. It's little wonder that our 50th state has become so popular with tourists from around the world. It's time that divers discovered this magnificent dream. Sorry, TC, we opted for South Sea helicopters. Stay tuned for dining information. Hi, my name is Dick Packman. I'm from Chicago, Illinois, and I've been diving with Lahaina divers for the last uh, 10 days and I've been to Lanai and I've been to Malakini and uh, I made my 100th dive today and everybody on this boat here is a witness and I've had a great time here and I have real nice people and they made the diving real enjoyable and of course it's always nice to be here in Maui. I'm Dave Reese, I'm an advanced scuba diver, one of the best and uh, I've been scuba diving at Maui and it's great to scuba dive here and if you never try it, try it, it's great. For your dining pleasure, Scuba World suggests that you try Blackbeard's. Our favorite dishes there were the shrimp salad and seafood platter. 
For elegant dining in the evenings, try Longies on Front Street. The dining and service are outstanding. Be sure to try the fettuccine Alfredo. We'd like to extend special thanks to Marvin Wolpa, Clyde Birch, Sue Thompson, Peter Hilly, Jimmy Roach, John Goodlander, Jerry Gregory, and Blaine Roberts. Also, Chuck Robinson, Susan Banks, and our many friends at the Maui Islander. From Scuba World, aloha. Inter-Island transportation provided by Aloha Airlines. Continental Airlines, the official carrier of Scuba World, flying to diving destinations throughout the world.